Yo, what's up, happy people? Let the good times roll. Let me show you guys what's going on. We're about to turn camp into something special. So this is camp at our new place in Florida. We want to put a pole barn right here. That means a lot of that oak tree has to go. And that's a big old huge oak tree. That's a big problem. Dad brought his bobcat, a bunch of tools, and I've got Cliff. This is not my forte. I'm not great at this, but we're about to figure it out. We got the whole pad cleaned off, and now we're coming up with an idea. Branches are a big deal, and the roots are a big deal. Luckily, I got a lot of smart people around me. Look at that spider. There's a little spider right there. A big spider right there. This is stuff they sent us. That's the Amalcio. Oh. And that's a uh, calipes at bone. Dad's growing biologic in a pot. I got you uh, two bags and a, a bag of calipes here. All right. Lots better than pulse hole diggers. These things right here are called batter boards. And literally, the, yeah, the orange string is where the barn is gonna go. Um, a post is gonna go right here. And it has to be just like that. Keep coming up, and another post has to be right here. We have it like this. There's a lot of roots. That's what's taking us so long. But um, at the end of the day, it's gonna work. Cliff has done this a whole bunch of times, and he knows. And my dad, he's run a bobcat for basically his whole life. Me, on the other hand, I've not built barns. I've worked for Cliff a couple times, and I don't know how to run a bobcat. So I have the professionals here. The end of the day, we're gonna have a barn, and then we're gonna have a big party. So what are you doing right now, Cliff? <clears throat> John Lovell. We have to make it plumb which means it's double. straight up and down and we have to make it square if it's square down here it'll be square up there that makes roofing much easier so the build is going well we got three poles in the ground and then alex just called me with these guys right here they're uh facetiming they're surf fishing so what's up you guys say hello Oh, that's awesome, man. Hey, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you catch a bunch of fish and uh, we'll see you very soon, okay? We caught, we caught a tarpon last night. No way, how big? Okay, we got the poles in the ground. We got Cliff in the air. Now, we set up a laser and we set the benchmark and then we measured everything from that benchmark up six feet. So all these poles will be exactly the same height. Chris and Marquis are tying off the purlins. The purlins run this way, and then the, the, the tin runs this way. The tin is the roof. The problem is Chloe just got stuck in the mud dropping off Austin to hunt. So we're gonna go pull her out real quick. Okay, so this is no joke. We met Chris and Marquis, and this is Chris's son, Cooper. How old are you, Cooper? Six. Six years old? Yeah. You'd be hanging out with Em and Aria. They'd love it. We're on our way to go get Chloe out of the mud. One thing's for sure, I'm glad I got a big truck. Let me show y'all what's going on with Chloe. She was dropping off Austin and just backed into the ditch. 
drop a thumbs up if you've never backed into a ditch. Hey, Chloe, tell us what you were thinking. <laughs> Hey, we've all been stuck in a ditch before. Luckily, we can get to it. <laughs> I would definitely suggest uh, turning this thing around before we unhook, okay? In case this happens again. Austin, this is when you kill your biggest deer when something crazy happens. So unhook this and go get in the tree. We are officially out of the mud. The question is, how many purlins have they actually tied up? They own a screening company and we met them at the gas station. Next thing you know, the husband, Chris, and the wife, Marquis, are in the bucket, like screwing off purlins. So it's amazing. It's just the way life works. So now we're doing the fascia. This is what you see. It also, this is a side grain. That's the end grain. That repels water. That sucks water up. So these are things that I'm learning on the job. This, what you're watching right now is actually the first thing that I've done on the whole barn. This way we roll folks. You've got to build it for them to come. But if you build it, they will come. That's your tech tip of the week. Brought to you by Eagle Butte, GMC, Dodge, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Ford Escort. How's that? <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> That's gonna be the best, the best barn ever. And all around. <laughs> Wait till it's all lit. We got floodlights and a skinning rack and everything. Hey. I'm so glad I'm here. <laughs> Lunch is here. I ain't trying to be rich. Have a high price phone. Have a big fence. Have a perfect lawn. I don't need no higher help. Run my home. I just don't know no more. I don't need to play golf at the country club. I don't need to show off. Don't care to one up. I ain't even I would know one. I don't know the Jones. I just don't know oh, no more. so excited it's literally October I don't even know almost the 13th and this is the first time that I'm even getting to go and sit in a stand like I haven't hunted all year yet and it's been killing me but Rob just dropped me off I'm headed to a new spot that I've never sat before never even seen this property before and I'm so excited this is the first time that I'm hunting with my new bear it's a legend XR and we just were tweaking it a little bit more today it's dialed in, it's ready to go. I'm so excited. I was still filming. I was trying to get footage. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing we have Maverick because this entire area is completely filled with water. Come on. Oh my gosh. What did you shoot? <laughs> um, 
It wasn't a big buck, but it's a buck. <laughs> You sure buck? Yeah. That's awesome, babe. <laughs> come on. Where did he come from? He came from, he like, pr like pranced in the field and I look back, I'm like, ah, he's there. And then he, he was definitely leery. I drew, the only time I could draw was right when he put his hand behind a tree. I quick drew and I had to hold it for a little bit. But he gave me the shot at like, gosh, I'm shaking with this GoPro. He gave me, it, it was probably a 15 yard shot. Awesome. We'll come right now. I'll show up all the grill and like we'll be right there. Yeah, come on. Um, right. it's all wet where he ran though, so bring Maverick. Yeah, for sure. Let me get his. Hunting is so much more than just pulling a trigger. Although it's fun and it's nice for the freezer. <laughs> it's good for your soul. The mosquitoes are really, really bad. Get me. The whole crew's like, oh, ready for you. Oh, hey, man, boy, you ready to go get one? Okay, the reinforcement crew is here. There he goes. Does he have his collar? No. No, we didn't know where it was. The mosquitoes are legit so bad it's not even funny. Oh, they're big ones back here. Oh, they're bad. Was here out in the field? I don't, I'm like running on low footage. Yeah! Woo! It, the mosquitoes are so bad, get a long sleeve shirt on or stay in the truck Mom, and roll the windows Mom. up. Um, you got them all on your face already. Yeah. Mom, go ahead did you know at camp I put some bugs Thank you so much. Mom, at camp I put bugs I'm just letting everything. you know. I'm warning you. Hey, thanks. You don't have to do that. Thank you. <gasps> oh, good boy, man. Good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, that will come out. Oh, that will come out. Oh, that will come out. Oh, yeah. Woo! Good boy. He's a good boy. Look at that. Well, folks, this video started out with the buggy working perfectly. Then we blew out a tire and blew up the transmission. Uh, that's not good. But what is good is this barn was not here. And Sarah did not kill that deer. I, I did a Euro mount. This is Sarah's buck that she killed. Okay. Thank you very much, Ryan Olson with Whitebone Creations for the expertise. America, and that's the barn. So you can see we've had a lot of rain lots of rain and so it's starting to wash in and pack in we're going to add more dirt around the poles this big oak tree had tons of roots so getting the poles in was tricky getting them what's called plum and square was even trickier these are uh tiki torches and so we have tiki torches on that side and this side that's going to keep the bugs away we put out fire bait fire bait ant no fire ant bait and we parked the tractor in the, the, the trailer over there. Now, no matter how hard it rains or how hard it blows, we're good. We took cable and we cabled it like that. And we use a turnbuckle to make that tight. That ties that pole to that pole. Everything is together. And we did, did the same thing on the other side. Now, we're gonna make a skinning shed out there's somewhere we're gonna make a skinning area. Uh, obviously you can tell there's just tons of stuff that's been left here over the years. All this is gonna get up and get out of here. This is Bob's trailer. That's my Bayou Classic uh, steam pot. That's gonna be the site of many great things. Uh, we have a table here, all our bare stools, our can cookers. This smashes potatoes, make the perfect French fries. And so then the TV goes right there. This is just, hey, let's just sneak in and see what Ari's doing. What are you doing in here? Oh, we got to turn on the light. With A-L-A-S-K-A. Alaska. Very nice. Yeah, watching TV. But that's what camp is. Camp is a place to get away, do cool things, and be fun and to have fun. Um, come around here, we got an outdoor kitchen with beaster lighting, and that's some ant bait. But you have unlimited hot water, 
whatever Sarah made all this and then we have a, a bird feeder right out there this is camp I'm glad you guys are a part of it please go to onyx.com download the app and use the, the promo code in the description below it'll save you like 20% off might even save you more than that I don't know but they're a huge partner of ours and they are a big part of why we were able to do this. So Onyx, thank you very much. Hopefully we get the buggy running soon. And next week we're doing something amazing and you'll see it live and in person. I'm actually gonna do a live video next week from somewhere you would never expect. Awesome, what do you say, man? You excited about next week? Mm -hmm. You gonna get a haircut or what? Probably. <laughs> Awesome. This is camp, you guys. Love you. Thank you. Take care. God bless. And we go.